everyone my name is mini sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about everything about supply so what do you mean by supply supply is amount of goods and services that producer is willing and able to provide in market at different prices supply is amount of goods and services that producer is willing and able to provide in market at different prices for example farmers harvest large quantities of apples but amount of apple which they are actually willing and able to sell in market will be called supply of apples now we will see determinants of supply determinants of supply means factors which influence supply first is the price of goods when price of goods increase supply also increase when price fall supply also fall price of related goods supply also influenced by prices of related goods for example when prices of fuel increase then obviously cost of running a car also increase that's why people prefer public transportation as a result demand of car reduce at demand of car reduce eventually supply also reduce so here you can see increase in price of fuel reduce the supply of a car so we can say that supply also influenced by prices of related goods price of factor of production if prices of factor of production increase then obviously cost of production increase and supply reduce technology improve and advance technology reduce production cost as production cost reduce supply increase government policies if government impose so many taxes on businesses obviously their production cost increase and supply reduce but if government provide subsidy then their production cost reduce and the supply increase nature of competition and size of industry nature of competition and size of industry also influence by also influence supply for example supply is less in case of monopoly as compared to perfect competition market now we are going to talk about law of supply as we know there are so many factors that can influence a supply but all other factors remain constant as price increase supply increase as price fall supply also fall it will be called law of supply that means the law of supply only tell us a direct relationship between price and supply and keeping all other factor remain constant so we can say that when all other factor which can influence supply remain constant supply is only affected by price as price increase supply also increase as price fall supply also fall it will be called law of supply here you can see as price is increasing supply also increasing same thing you can see in this diagram on x axis we are quantity supplied y axis we are price as price increasing supply also increasing this ss curve is our supply curve which is showing direct relationship between price and supply now we will see movement along a supply curve that means supply change only because of price not any other factor like government policy or technology influence supply movement along supply curve means supply change only because of price and not any other factor like government policy or, or technology influence supply there are two part of movement along supply curve extension in supply and contraction in supply extension in supply means as price increase supply also increase same thing you can see in this diagram as price increase from p2 p1 supply also increase from q2 q1 it will be called upward uh, movement next part is contraction of uh, supply contraction of supply means when price fall supply also fall here you can see as price fall from p to p1 supply also fall from q to q1 and it will be called downward movement now we are going to talk about shift in supply curve shift in supply curve occurs when supply change but not because of change in price there may be some other factors which changes supply 
shift in supply occurs when supply change but not because of change in price there may be some other factors which changes supply so shift in supply means change in supply due to factors other than price and shift in supply have two parts increase in supply and decrease in supply increase is increase in supply means price constant but still supply is increasing because supply is not influenced by price there may be some other factor which are increasing supply it can be government policy it can be technology but not price same thing you can see in this table price is constant but still supply increase from 20 to 40 in this diagram you can see our initial equilibrium point is e quantity is oq and price is op price is constant op but still supply increase from q2 q1 and our new equilibrium point is e1 as supply increase our supply curve shift forward s1 s1 is our new supply curve decrease in supply means price constant but still supply reduce here you can see price constant but supply reduce from 40 to 20 same thing in this diagram you can see our initial equilibrium point is e initial quantity is o q1 and price is op price is our constant but still supply reduce from q1 to q as supply reduce or supply curve shift backward from ss to ss1 this is our new supply curve e1 is our new equilibrium point here you can see price constant but still supply reduce because uh, supply is not influenced by price there may be some other factor which are changing uh, supply now we are going to talk about elasticity of supply we have already discuss about uh, law of supply law of supply only tell us as price increase supply also increase as price fall supply also fall but uh, it doesn't explain how much uh, supply increase or decrease due to change in price but elasticity of supply measures how much supply of goods change in response to change in price elasticity of supply measure how much supply of goods change in response to change in price and formula of calculating elasticity elasticity of supply is percentage change in quantity supplied divided by percentage change in price now we will say degree of price elasticity of supply first is perfectly inelastic supply perfectly inelastic supply means prices can change but quantity supplied will remain constant it will not change in case of perfectly inelastic supply prices can change but quantity supplied will remain constant it will not change for example rare and unique painting if demand of this painting increase then its prices will increase but supply will remain constant same thing you can see in this diagram our supply is constant oq but prices are increasing and this vertical line shows our supply curve and in this case elasticity of supply is equal to 0 second degree is perfectly elastic supply perfectly elastic supply means unlimited change in supply at prevailing price or slight change in price perfectly elastic supply means unlimited change in supply at prevailing price or slight change in price it can be possible in case of those goods which production cost is constant or very low for example in case of paper so production cost is very low that's why producer can increase supply at unlimited level at prevailing price or slight change in price that's why uh, elasticity of supply in this case is equal to infinity same thing you can see in this diagram our price is constant op but supply is increasing from q2 q1 from q1 to uh, q2 and this ss horizontal curve represent our supply curve next is unitary elastic supply unitary elastic supply means change in price lead to equal percentage change in supply when change in price lead to equal percentage change in supply it will be called unitary elastic supply 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल टेन परसेंट इंक्रीज इन प्राइज लीड टू एग्जैक्टली टेन परसेंट इंक्रीज इन सप्लाई एंड यूनिटरी इलास्टिक सप्लाई इज पॉसिबल इन केस ऑफ स्टील स्पेशली इन लॉन्ग रन एंड इन केस ऑफ यूनिटरी इलास्टिक सप्लाई इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ सप्लाई इज इक्वल टू वन इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी टेन परसेंट इंक्रीज इन प्राइज लीड टू टेन परसेंट इंक्रीज इन सप्लाई एंड दिस एस एस इज अवर सप्लाई कर्व नाउ इज इज रिलेटिव इलास्टिक सप्लाई रिलेटिव इलास्टिक सप्लाई मीन्स चेंज इन सप्लाई इज मोर एज कंपेयर टू चेंज इन प्राइज वेन क्वान्टिटी सप्लाइड चेंज मोर एज कंपेयर टू चेंज इन प्राइज इट विल बी कॉल्ड रिलेटिव इलास्टिक सप्लाई फॉर एग्जाम्पल चेंज इन प्राइज इज टेन परसेंट बट चेंज इन सप्लाई इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड रिलेटिव इलास्टिक सप्लाई इज पॉसिबल इन केस ऑफ लग्जरी गुड्स and elasticity of supply in case of relative elastic is more than one in this diagram you can see price increase only 10% but supply increase 20% ss represent our supply curve now we are going to talk about relative inelastic supply that means change in price will lead to smaller percent change in supply when change in price lead to smaller percentage change in supply it will be called relative inelastic supply for example 20% increase in price only lead to 10% increase in supply and this is possible in case of food medicine and gasoline and in this case es is less than 1 here you can see price increase 20% but supply increase only 10% this ss is our supply curve so this is all about supply i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care